Previously on Huts Gaming. And hello to nothing. Why are you like this? Honey Planet rerolls. <laughs> oh. I hate you. I hate you. We are back today for another Sacred Dice run. Let's up the ante and play my favorite character, The Lost. Here's what I want to do for this challenge. I want to take away the challenge. Let's just try a normal run as though we started with Sacred Dice. This means we'll be able to reroll things as many times as we'd like. We don't have to take any specific thing. It might make it more fun. It might make it more difficult because if I reroll multiple times, we're only increasing the chance of removing the item altogether. But if we start with a tier one item and I'm able to bump it up to a tier two and then tier three, reminder, 60% chance to upgrade the item, 20% chance to downgrade. That's a funny, that's a funny joke. That's a good one. Cursed Eye is actually really good as the Lost, but I don't want it. 20% chance to downgrade the item and a 20% chance to eat the item altogether. Go. Lucky Coin, is that good enough? I think we can do better. That's not better. Get away from me. Oh, why do I do this to myself? Maybe a fun challenge could be like one button every single room or like 25 buttons every single room. Speaking of absolute chaos, you know what I miss? TM Trainer Runs. Comment down below if you liked the TM Trainer Runs and want to see more of those. Reverse Moon Card, I love that. That's Ultra Secret Room. Probably should go in with the charge, but we're getting a bunch of rooms with no combat, so no charge pips for me, I guess. I'd end up going with Dad's Lost Coin. Oh, we got a mini boss here too. If you drop the health upgrade, I'm gonna be tempted to reroll that instead because of course, health means nothing to me. That was almost a really good shot. All right, no bomb, despite the fact that I know the secret room is there. Gosh, that hurts. Do you think as the lost, as a ghost, being able to fly through rocks and stuff and through these barriers, we would just be able to fly through the secret room doors? Could that be a really interesting, nice, necessary buff to the lost and tainted lost? I don't know. If we go by phasmophobia, not all ghosts can go through doors, so who knows? More health, too. <sighs> Here's what I'll say. Reverse Moon Card ain't going nowhere. We could save it. Health upgrade, actually useless. Reroll it. That's a pointy rib. Fine. At least, at least we get luck plus range here. On to the next floor. Stab. Stab. Stick him with the pointy end. Oh, come on. You know I don't have any bombs. Don't do this to me. That kind of feels like top secret room. When you see a room like this and you're like, why does this exist? Could be top secret room. Oh, thank you, flight. I have bomb now. And now I have a moon card. Sure. More bomb. Nice. I have a full charge. Don't have anywhere to spend it. So now's a perfect time. Reverse moon card. Go. That is too spooky. That's actually not that bad for the lost. Any enemies that are going to try to get up close and do contact damage to me are going to be feared and they're going to run away. Talking like spiders and maggots and stuff. Yeah, I think that I will take that. It's a pretty safe play. Is that worth one key? Yeah, maybe. We have our red room connecting to our ultra secret room that we get automatically, which is going to allow us to freely enter. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm kind of tempted. I usually take this item because it's at least funny. Four times fire rate, 70% damage down, and tears gain random worm trinket effect. Ah, oh, hell, I'm a sucker. Let's go. At least the knockback can be something that could be useful. And look at Too Spoopy. Too Spoopy doing a great job here. This fly does not want to get close to me at all. Why do we even have a sacred dice? <laughs> I'm not even going to use it anyways. A reroll machine and two skull Monty dudes. That's really interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this layout before. Also, oh my god, put me out of my misery. I look beautiful. Here's a potential buff for mom's bracelet. Some people love it. Some people don't care about it. But what if? What if you could pick up reroll machines or just any machine and bring it to a different room. I think that would be really interesting. Boss time, little horn. Let's pop the devil here. Why not? Get a little bit of a damage boost. Done. And we have some tears ups. You guys, I don't, I don't even know why we have a sacred dice. What about in here? All right, all right, all right, all right. We have something sacred diceable. Yep. 
We'll be taking that with this combo. That's great. A little reminder, when we use a sacred dice, it is chaos, aka it pulls from a random item pool. Off strap rooms as the lost, gonna be doing those. Oh, it's so crazy with the bounce shot now. So instead of my tears just hitting the enemy and ending, they hit the enemy and continue to bounce around. There are a lot of different combinations that could really, really set this off. By the way, was I right about the secret room being up here? If I can't use these bombs, the tower card here, and push these bombs where I need them. I don't think that... <laughs> Alright, there you go. It totally was there. And it's a bunch of crap. Should I see if we can't get uh, an item from one of these guys? I do really like playing these dudes. And I don't think, I don't think that luck makes any difference when you are playing them. Oh, that's spicy. That's less spicy. Don't need the red health. No thanks. <laughs> so much money, I'm gonna start playing both these guys. Before we go too crazy with our money, let's actually check out the shop. Kind of forgot about it. Shops contain just many, many really, really good items. Like the Bible, it's so good. Mmm, thanks. Worst case scenario with these guys, we'll at least walk out with some more bombs and keys. First chance for Skatol. Ah! Golden bomb. You've given me an idea. Oh, hey! Burnt penny. Chance to get bomb drops when picking up pennies. This is great. Oh, yeah. Is it stupid to just take the quarter? I do have a reroll, and I'm tempted to just use it. Ah, uh, jeez. We got our skatol. Interesting. Now, pimple. It's pretty good, but I kind of want something a little bit more wacky. Oh, dry baby as the loss. That's... That's a pretty good combo. Really defensive. Dry baby, of course. Blocking shots. Buy a battery. Use it on the dead sea butts. For an Akeldama. Chain of tears behind Isaac. Yeah. Finally, next floor. Is this the reason why I like playing as the Lost? Because it justifies my need to min-max the crap out of the game? Maybe. Oh. Hello, crack dice. Dice shard, I mean, of course. Mom's bracelet. Ironic that I meet you here. Goodbye. Guardian Angel. Very defensive build we have going on. Dirty. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, God. Oh, make me eat my words then. I've got a defensive build. Look at me. I'm hot. A big bozo. All right, it's over. All right. Move along. Perfection is the lost. It's, it's so difficult to say no to something like that. And then this just gives me money. Pfft. Okay, remember when I said we need something weird or that we could get something weird and broken with this combo? I think we just found it. Yep. Curse room teleported me to a Krampus fight. Oh! Ma'am. Ma'am, calm down. Pop is, is, is doing a number here. Making it harder for me to... Oh, wow. Ah. Uh. I was like not hitting him with most of those shots. That was a little nerve wracking, I gotta admit. I don't even wanna bomb these skulls in case there's a host that kills me. Dice shard, go. We got heartbreak, three broken hearts, damage up for each broken heart. I think it's a little broken when it comes to the loss and it gives him like potentially extra health, extra chances to die. Cause I think there's like three hidden broken hearts behind the scenes of, of the loss having no health. We live to see another day. <laughs> oh, Something I'd like to see with Pop right now is like homing. Homing would be amazing. Because in a situation like this, I'm trying to fire at that poop, but my Pop shots are running into my other Pop shots and they can't make it very far from my face sometimes. Yeah, yeah, potentially pretty bad. Item room has got mom's eyeshadow. Next, Cracker Jacks. Last chance, Isaac's tomb. Old crest at the start of every floor. Contains soul hearts, trinkets, mom, dad, angel items. Top secret room, bunch of pills, pubes. Luck down, ouch. Lemon party. Tears down. Next, here's my tomb. Trinkets, Ouroboros with a thing that already pretty much has Ouroboros. I kind of like it though, I kind of like it because the pop shots aren't getting in their own way. They have so much momentum that they just go. But it takes a while to actually have the shots cross the middle of the screen. Flatworm, kind of cool. Increases the uh, size of the tiers. Gotta stick with my perfection though. Explosive enemy in this room, that means there's a secret room up top. But hell if I'll be able to kill him in the right spot. There it is. Item room's got suplex. Some people love the suplex. I think it's... Uh, 
it's not the best. I really don't see myself taking a different active item on this run as well, so definitely pass. Reroll, urn of souls. That's super cool, but no. More boss trap. Ooh, health. Urn of souls to nothing. Like the contents of the urn, ashes to ashes. Another item there, speed upgrade. I'm just gonna take this speed. See if I can't get a charge for our devil room coming up. Rag Mega. Kind of a dangerous boss. Can definitely surprise you sometimes with the purple balls, but very low health. So when in doubt, just drop a bomb. Deal with the devil. We got it. What do you got? We got Pogatory. Do we want that? We have so many more things to reroll. Maybe we just take it. PJ's is pretty worthless for us as well. Let's reroll you. Forget me now. I can't get rid of my active item. I don't want to. It's so good. Luckily for me, I've got cash and a battery beggar. Give me some more rerolls, please. Forget me now, quality three. Can you give me a quality four item? Go! Well, this is awkward. We take the D6. We use it here to reroll that guy. That seems fair. Probably take more fire rate. Oh, look at this room. Oh, man. All good pills. It sounds like a really good idea, right? And Ares is pretty cool. If you're moving above 0.85 speed, it makes Isaac immune to contact damage. Very, very cool. But two item pedestals in a secret room with a D6 on the floor. I'm sorry, but I now know where I'm going and what I'm going to do. Reroll time. Oh, come on. Going back. Running a little short on cash, but I'll, I'll give it all to you. Come on. <laughs> give me one pip at a time here. Who else has more money for me? Need to dip into my savings account. Reroll this. Go! Lost contact on our super high fire rate is, is not something that I think I'm going to be able to say no to. Epic fetus, though, I have no problem saying no to you. Sorry, machine. Got to do this. Breaking my piggy bank. Another thing that I could think about doing right now is getting extra charges by taking Squeezy. Oh, shielded tears. Look at the shielded tears. You can't even hit me. Are you trying? <laughs> Got the micro battery. Some of you may be wondering why I'm doing this and going so hard in the secret room. Well, the secret room and the top secret room, which both share a pool, have some of the most amazing items in the game. That is not one of them. 12 cents, come on, battery beggar, please. Yes, we might do it. Bro, we're talking death certificate. We're talking rock bottom. We're talking sausage. Come on, five, four, three, two, one, go. Not flip. Ah, oh, well, we tried. The Lannisters send their regards. Next floor. We got an item here. Latch key. Probably don't need more luck, so let's re-roll it. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Rocket in a jar. I end up hurting myself with the rocket in a jar. You know what? Fine, let's take it. There's only one way you're gonna get good at something, and that's by practicing with that something. And the damage that we could have with this many bombs, it's probably pretty worth it. Pogatory, let's not forget. You walk over the crack and it sends a break to your mother's back. No, it shoots out the little uh, purgatory buddy that deals some pretty decent AOE damage, like this. See, that was good. And then they just keep coming back. A bedroom, clean bedroom, which means crawl space. And crawl space means Maggie's bow. That is not good for me. If I could take the blood of the martyr, I would. Couple of ways to use that item. You could void it if you have the void. You could use the moving box to grab it. I think there might be a creative way to bomb yourself in there, but whatever. Let's do a reroll here. It ate the one item and turned this one into abyss. One of the items that I could use to get the item in the trap. Whatever, you suck. Not funny. We look beautiful, but let's see how more beautiful we could look. Can we get rid of too spooky? Apparently not. Spider-Rum's got bomb bag. That's tier two quality? Interesting. Easy reroll for me. Also our shop. <laughs> King baby. Nah. Reroll. Quad shot. Oh, okay. I don't know though, because like high fire rate is super cool, but multiplying my tier output by three and then basically dividing by two for my fire rate, I think that does add up. It will be b potentially beneficial. It, it looks good. Charge beggar again. 
I'm going to have to keep you around. Actually, here's what I'm going to do. Use you. No, I don't want that. I was going to use him to get the charges, and then I was going to blow him up. I didn't see this outcome happening. Well, boss time. <laughs> We're just not going to have a charge for our devil deal. It's okay. Didn't get one anyways. And I accept the pentagram. Luckily for me, I still have this four room. Reroll the car battery. Here's an idea that I have for potentially buffing beggars that are so-so on early floors. We're talking bomb beggars and key beggars. What if, if you had a golden bomb, you went up to a bomb beggar and he took the golden bomb and immediately paid out with an item? Same thing with key beggars. So at the end of the floor, you got this golden key, you don't know what to do with it. You dump it off to the key beggar that you found in the secret room. Voila, you get some deliciousness. Could be good. Speaking of could be good, Infestation 2. How is that not tier 4 quality? Oh, wow, that's good. I'm very happy with that. Does the 4 dice reroll shops? I think it doesn't. I think a 3 dice actually reroll shops, oddly enough, but let's check. Forum did reroll. Excellent. I will take a humbling grundle. Humble my grundle, please. I'm pretty happy about how this run is going. <laughs> But I, I don't know if we're going to survive later floors, you guys. It's wacky. It's not necessarily powerful. Like, if I fought Mega Satan right now, I think I'd get absolutely dominated. Another battery beggar. We just keep getting that room over and over again. Okay. Am I just going to go ahead and take the godhead? Goathead? You know what I mean. Yeah, we're going to take that. Another clean room here. It's being generous. It's trying. I'll give it that. And a black market. Very interesting. I like the idea of a restock, especially with this much money. We could filter through a lot of things from the shop and potentially reroll any actives that we get. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking yes. What about these pills? I'm <laughs> Not the best. Okay. Wow. Tarot cloth. Mm, I love it. I do love it, but... Well, that kind of hurts. I really love Teleport 2.0, but I'm not taking it. That's very dangerous. Please go away. Iterums got candy hard. Get out. You know that doesn't work for me. Gulp. Very interesting. Good pill. Candy hearts only a tier one. That's pretty crap. Let's go reroll our tier three Teleport 2.0. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully get tier four, please. Five, four, three, two, one, go. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get- Our boss trap room's got some growth hormones. I'm gonna say yes to that. Good luck, Brownie. Have fun in this room. Once again, I think the only thing I really want right now is homing. Last shop, of course. Of course it has greed in it. What's up next for rerolls? Candy heart into marbles. I could use a new trinket right now, but we can't activate the marble effect because we can't take damage. So probably gonna reroll that. All right, marbles, how about a tier three item? Mama Mega. We could get into our boss trap room. What do we think about that? I kind of feel like that's a pretty good thing. Four new items. Let's play this guy first. Turn that into something good. No. <laughs> Get the full card. Charge up our dice. Maybe charge it twice. Mama Mega, go. Oh, top secret room. Tears down pills. Amnesia. Thanks. Walk into mom fight. Open the door to the boss rush. She was not supposed to die. She was not supposed to die that quickly, but it's okay. I forgive you that you did. Oh man, what is my reflection gonna do with what we got going on? I really expected to come in here and use my rerolls, but my reflection plus pop might be the answer we've been looking for. It might also be the worst thing ever. I don't know. Let's do it. Now we full card out because I don't really want to fight through boss rush. I have to be honest. No, thank you. Interesting to note that a bomb beggar that was blown up with Mama Mega did not spawn bombs. We found bomb beggars immunity limit. All right, back to the mom fight. She dead. Polaroid. Devil room. I'm like slightly tempted to, to go for Guppy, but I think no in the end. Oh, definitely no on that one. Oh... Uh... Shoot. Thanks, but no thanks. Are we doing better? Well, let's check these shots. So my reflection's gonna bring those shots back to me. Kind of. 
it honestly doesn't look very different. But once I'm moving from the left side to the right side, you can see the tears kind of move with me, creating this protective barrier around myself with the shielded tears. Miter, you are not very good for me as the lost. Try again, please. Oh, come on. It was being so good at the beginning of the game, and now it's eating items like candy. I got some extra cash for you, buddy. Hmm, bean. <laughs> Zero quality. Laz rags. Where's my spin down when I need it? Oh, a big blue pill. Let's try the small blue one first. Ooh, what is an extra large pretty fly dude? Just probably gives me all pretty flies. Gives me a big fan! And the big fan is schmoovin' because we have Guardian Angel, which increases the speed of our orbitals. Sweet! Laz rags to nothing, man. We have an item here in our secret room. At this point in time, might be just better to save it for our duel of the devil, since we're not gonna get a whole nother charge. Trachnid. Tropicamide. You know what? Range and tier size, that might not be so bad right now. Grab it. We got enough things to reroll. And we have a Vengeful Spirit in here. It procs upon taking damage. We, of course, can't do that. Reroll. Pisces. Fire it up. And we take the Sack of Sacks and go. Boss Trap Room's got Blood Clot. One thing to note here with Blood Clot is that the damage up it gives is unaffected by the damage multiplier from Almond Milk. So it will be applying plus one damage to our left eye, which is huge. Huge news. Very, very good. It lives, battle. This should be pretty good. Won't be able to hit with most of its attacks. <laughs> I loved it. Devil deal. Eye of the occult. It's not homing, but it might be good. I don't know. It might be good. Might be bad. We can basically direct where our shots go. Yeah, this is, this is super wacky. I think, I think, I think we should have an easier time hitting things with our shots though. A steam sail drop in here. In my challenge room. Unexpected. Tier two. Down to tier one blood puppy. <sighs> to a nothing. Why do I feel like this run is somewhat more challenging than the sacred dice challenge that we did? Should have a pretty okay time on this boss fight. Besides the light beams, of course. And here they come. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Down to the chest. Isaac's Tomb, are you just guaranteed to give me an item? No. How about you guys? We got some undies, some rosary bead, kamikaze, and experimental treatment. We are one syringe away from spun, so I say we take this. That was negative fire rate, everything else went up. Well, I guess negative luck, technically. Camel undies. I like them. You know what? Let's do it. Let's take the camel undies and re-roll the other things. I like a holy water. And I'll come back for Pound of Flesh. Camel Undies gives you a boost of fire rate right when you uh, start shooting in any room. More chests, please. With perfection, we should be getting a lot of chests. Reroll Pound of Flesh. Rotten Tomatoes? Sure, since we already have so many things to reroll. Chest gives me tiny... P I have to know. I have to know what's going to happen. It's probably going to be horrible. Here we go. Yeah, that looks pretty stupid. And, uh, extra large chest room. I've been getting this so frequently. Uh, tech zero. Oh my goodness. Yes! My shots are now connected with electricity. There it is. All right, all right, we're good. That's super interesting because with this specific combination, you guys, we have now Tiny Planet, which is somehow pushing my shots to the outer edges of the room as I'm firing, and they're just kind of grinding along the edge. Then we have my reflection, which is basically making it so that it doesn't continually rotate around me. It comes to a standstill when it's next to the wall. And then we have IV Occult, which slowly pushes them forward, which is just creating this laser minefield in the middle. This is insane. What a weird, weird combo. You guys ever seen Resident Evil where they had to dodge the lasers that are coming across the room? This is Resident Evil build right now. Look at this. They didn't dodge the lasers. Spoiler. D12 to continuum. I don't think that works with rubber cement. What are you, what are you gonna do? Nothing? Yeah, nothing. Range up so the tears last a little bit longer on screen, I guess. Two items in this room. Two re-rollable items. Another item here, P. Diddy. Definitely taking you. Burn. Burn in hell. 
Oh, soy milk. I don't... Okay, wait, hang on. I'm pretty sure soy milk, almond milk together is really bad. You get the damage down, but not the increased fire rate. Let's look it up. Interactions with almond milk. Overrides soy milk. Soy milk is completely overridden. Let's just take it because it's funny then. Reroll these. More milk. Milk transformation when? Synergy here with almond milk. Tears will automatically be charged and shot for 400% damage. Love it. Yeah, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the damage. Roid Rage? Why not? Big Chubby to nothing. Rest in peace, Big Chubby. Isaac's heart? <laughs> nah. I love how this run has tried to give me some of the crappiest crap. The most cow on trash farm items. And we've totally made this run work despite all of that. Final boss. Pretty good stuff. It's caught in the laser minefield. Not gonna last long. You hate to see it. One last reroll for fun. The bastard box. Nah. GG. Let me know what you guys thought about this run in the comment section down below. I had a blast. If you guys know of any really cool mods, also leave that in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.